Hey folks, Manning Sins here. Thank you for clicking on that video. It's been three months since I put out a video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you guys do like it, hey, remember, click that like button, click the subscribe and that bell notification. In case you didn't know, I also do live content on Twitch, uh, www.twitch.tv slash commanding sins. Check me out there where we can talk live about just about any game. Um, and more importantly, just have fun together. All right, hey guys, I'll see you in the game. Enjoy the video. Hey folks, uh, like I said uh, in the beginning there when you first clicked on this video, this is going to be a how to play very beginning like 101 uh, of Star Trek Online. Uh, now this is basically for those who love Star Trek, who've never played this MMO or MMOs in general, I guess, uh, or your sci-fi fan who's never played Star Trek and, and doesn't understand, you know, the ins and outs of the beginning. Um, I've seen a lot of, uh, like I said earlier, a lot of videos going into the mechanics and, and once you get further levels and how to build your ships, but nothing for like your casual players like myself. And not that there's anything wrong with that, um, but I figured that this was missing in the YouTube video genre uh, library, I guess you could say. So here we go. So if when you first log in, you're going to have this new character thing here, right here. Uh, you click on it and you have your different factions. Now, to break this down so that you can understand it, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, which is, I think, an MMO that everybody knows, hopefully... Um, <clears throat> you have your alliance, which is the good guys, and you have the horde, which is uh, the bad guys in the story, right? So your bad guys in this is Klingon Defense Force, all right? And that's pretty much the whole bad guys. Um, the rest of these are the Fourth Federation, as follows. Discovery, Starfleet, the original series Starfleet, and regular Starfleet. This is the regular Starfleet that began the whole game. Everything else was added later. Now, these other two factions that you see here, the Dominion and the Romulan Republic are the only two races that after their prologue, you get to decide whether you want to join Starfleet or you want to join the Klingon Defense Force, okay? So those are the two factions that can do it. Now, of these two factions, both Rom Rom Romulan Republic and the Dominion, the Dominion automatically starts you at level 60. So it is highly not encouraged for you to make this one when you're first starting out because you are going to be super lost in the sauce. If you're lost just now, with me just kind of explaining this, you're going to get lost just starting a Dominion um, at a level 60. That's for later on, once you, you know, get the hang of the game uh, and you want, like, another character to go run and do things at the end once you reach your first character at the end, okay? So let's just go ahead and select a normal star Starfleet officer. Now, now, each one of these races, they don't uh, give you anything special, so it really doesn't matter which race you pick. So we're just going to go with human to make this easy. All right, so this is your next major decision after you've uh, selected, you know, you want to go Klingon Defense Force or you want to be Federation, all right? So your officers. So basically, you have your engineering officer, your science officer, and your tactical officer. Now, for your engineering officer, your engineering officer for ground away missions, all right, when you're going down the planet, you're transporting with your away team, uh, you're basically going to be doing support type actions. Um, you're going to put down, like... Um, little turrets to either uh to launch like mortars you can put turrets that's going to help with shield buffing or healing uh and, and those things okay your science officer is basically your healer on the ground um and on the ground <clears throat> they also do buffs and debuffs buffs for your friendlies or for your away team and debuffs for your enemy all right and then your tactical officer is all about the dps right enhancing uh their dps the team's dps uh having uh more um Things to like like grenades uh, and just doing area of effect type of DPS um, with weapons and uh, and the like now obviously it's Star Trek so you're not only gonna have ground missions you're gonna have base missions right you're gonna be fighting in your sh on your ship okay um, so the way these play into effect is engineering officer <clears throat> will help with the hull right giving your ship more health um, or more uh, regen faster regen all right, your science officer is going to help with the shields, giving it more power, more life on the shields, or faster regen for your shields. Now, they also do out things outside of that. Um, I'm being very generic and very bland right now, so those of you who are very serious in this game, again, this is just casual, just trying to get these people um, who just want to play the game and have some fun uh, kind of understanding the, the basic mechanics. And then your tactical officer, when he's in your ship, again, 
uh, the tactical officer brings that DPS, helps with the damage, the phasers, uh, and your torpedoes, and, and increases that damage uh, once it hits that enemy. Okay? Um, so that's the very generic. We're going to go ahead and click engineer just to kind of move along here. Um, I'm just going to write test because I'm probably going to erase this guy after. Test. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because someone's probably already done this. Test. Um, you also get to name your ship. All right. We'll just click engage here. Um, I'm going to let it boot up and then I'm going to log out because I'm going to show you um, the differences in ships. Okay. It's kind of hard to do it when you're first starting out. There's like a, a good 20 to 30 minute tutorial, especially as it walks you through. Um, it'll actually let me skip the tutorial. I'll just play the tutorial. Let's skip the beginning. I don't want to ruin anything for you. Okay, so obviously they're going to walk you through it, but it's very generic on telling you how to play the MMO, so it gives you a good introduction to it, okay? All right, so let's change our character here, and we are going to go ahead and select... All right, so my high-leveled um, officer is an engineer. So we're going to click on him. And he's he's got a big ship. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm not gonna go into constitution class. I'm not gonna go into dreadnoughts. I'm just gonna go into big, medium, small. All right, or engineer. Or what ships are uh, likely to have engineer vessels? Um, uh, what ships are going to be you know your science vessels? And what ships are going to be more suited for your tactical vessels? Okay. Um, so here we go. Here we're going to go. Okay, let's go to ship. Um, all right, so. Obviously, on this guy, I did engineering, so I got a lot of big ships or constitution class or, or your dreadnoughts. Um, these ships already have big health, so when you put an engineer, an engineering officer behind those ships, it adds to that health. It adds to the regeneration of the health of the ship. All right. Um, also, these, these bigger ships, as I said earlier, they have more consoles. Now, consoles, all right, Consoles are where you're going to put your bridge officers. Now, you're going to get bridge officers as you play the beginning of the game. They're going to join your, your crew, um, and you get to place them uh, on these consoles that are on the bridge of your ship, okay? And what does that mean for you, uh, just starting out, is basically each one of these bridge officers have skills, all right? And when your, sh when your ship is in space, these skills can be pressed. They'll be on your, your bar here, Okay where you get to press them. So this bar will change once I'm in space. So this is my ground bar, right? It shows all my ground attacks and all that stuff. It's going to change to my space uh, attacks and everything that I can click on once I go to space into my spaceship, okay? So I'm going to go to look at the ship that I have right now. And if you look at it, you see where it says engineering consoles right here? This is a, a ship that is best suited for an engineering officer. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't put a tactical officer in one of these ships. Um, it just means that you'll have less, you know, engineering consoles to, to kind of boost that. Um, literally, you can have any officer be on any ship. It's really up to you. You can have a tactical officer in an engineering ship. I'm just going through the basics on what I did and how I played. Now, for endgame meta, this might be completely wrong. Again, I don't do endgame meta. I don't do, you know, big raids. Um, I, I've... I, I would say go watch a YouTube video by uh, MC Stu. He does some really great videos on how to build your ships and, and what to do, f what consoles to use, and all that other stuff. And there's a couple of other YouTube videos out there, um, but I mainly watch uh, MC Stu. He, I can understand everything he says, and he, he kind of breaks it down pretty simple when, when you get to the end game stuff. All right, so now I'm going to go show you what a <clears throat> science vessel looks like. I'm going to change characters again and go on to my science officer. And it just enhances what the ship is. So if it's a science ship, it makes sense to kind of put a science officer. At least in my mind, I could be wrong. Uh, that's how I like to play the game. You know, your science ships are for your science officers. Your science officers bring extra uh, science ability and, and boosts buffs for that science. Boosts buffs. Wow. Brings those buffs for that ship, right? All right, so this is a science vessel that I've got going on right here. Now, if we open it up, my, my status for the ship, you'll see that I have more science consoles on this ship than I have engineering consoles or tactical consoles okay so that's that's the difference between the science ship and the con and the bigger ships right the science ships are brought medium sized um, ships and uh, they are basically for your science officers right you can put more you can have your bridge officers that have more science skills 
uh, for you to, to, to use in space. Now you see here how I mentioned before that you'd have those bridge officers and their skills on your bar here for you to play uh, for you to select while you're playing. That's what those bridge officers do in those stations, okay? So the more stations that you have filled with, with science officers, um, <clears throat> the more skills that you can use, okay? Um, so let's change out, and I'm going to show you a tactical vessel. Your tactical vessels, for those of you who do play Star Trek, not play Star Trek, sorry, watch Star Trek, aren't a big Star Trek fans. Um, your smaller ships, they are called escorts, right? Um, or like... My favorite way of remind of remembering these small ships, the Defiant classes, right? The very small ships, size of like the Defiant from you know Deep Space, Deep Space Nine, right? Oh, speaking of Deep Space Nine, approach Deep Space Nine. I don't want to approach Deep Space Nine. Go away. I want to show my ship. Let me get out of here so that we can. We'll decline. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, not moving. Okay, so here we go. Um. Now, the differences between all these ships, I'll, I'll get to in a second. Um, I almost went to another tangent here before I forgot. All right, so let's go here. Um, obviously, so I'm only, I'm not a max level on a tactical officer yet. Um, so this officer is only level 35, okay? So he, this is not the biggest uh, escort ship that I could have or the, the highest level I can have, okay? So, but as you can still see here, I still have more consoles in the type of ship it is than I do in the others, right? So I have more tactical consoles than I have science or engineering. Now, if I were a max level character on this officer and I had a max level ship, um, I would have four to five consoles that are tactical consoles and then I'd have three to four of the others, okay? So I'd have either one to two less depending on the type of ship. Now... I started to say this before, and I kind of messed up, so I'll mention it here in the end because I forgot to bring it up with each ship. Um, each ship, their maneuvers, like how fast they move while you're in space, vary, right? So the smaller ship you have, the faster you're going. So you're looking at your rogue, like your DPS, right? Just like uh, a regular MMO like WoW, right? Your rogues move fast. They do a lot of hits. They weave in and out. That's what your escorts do. Uh, your science ships, uh, they've got moderate movement. Um, they're faster. They're not as fast as the escort, excuse me, uh, but they're definitely faster than those constitution classes or those big uh, dreadnought or huge ships. All right. And then your engineers, obviously, um, they're the slowest ones of the bunch. Uh, you can obviously put consoles and use other items to make it a little bit faster, but it'll never be as fast as a smaller ship like an escort or like, you know, this one right here. Um, <clears throat> but... So what roles, right? I went over officers, I went over ships and sizes and, and all that other stuff um, and how much damage each one does, which one's best for DPS, which one's best for and all that. Um, so your big ships, they have the biggest health. So just like an MMO, those are the ones that you're going to want to be a tank in, right? Um, and, and this really plays later on in the game if you do raiding. So a little tip here, if, if, if you want to be a tank at endgame, you're going to want to get those big ships that can withstand a lot of damage, okay? If you want to be uh, a buff, debuffer, or a healer, or focus on that, you're going to want to be a science officer and a science vessel. Um, and then, obviously, uh, your escorts, your smaller ships, you're going to want to do the DPS. You want to do the high damage. You want to be that roguelike uh, character. And again, this is way down the line uh, once you get to level 65. Well, folks, that's about it. Uh, maybe next time I'll do a video on how to use the auction house, uh, how to sell your things, how to use your shared storage, uh, how to use your, what the currency stands for, how do you do this, how do you do that. Um, but I kind of want to keep it simple and keep it basic for those of us who are just casual players like me. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions, please leave them, comment. If you like this video, click that like button. Click, um, click that like button with the thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that ring notification uh, so that you see the next one that I put up. All right, folks, I'll see you guys in the game.